Hi everybody. We're moving on. I'm trying to remember everything we covered. I mean, we, we did book of um, artifacts and I will refilm those, those three, but that might be like tonight or something. So it might show up tomorrow. Um, I do believe somebody asked what GURPS was. This is GURPS, Generic Universal Role-Playing System. Okay, now when D&D came out, it did not have all those cool dice. And we all went, woo, dice, right? Those are different. Um, it was six-sided based. Uh, Metamorphous Alpha, six-sided dice based. Gamma World, which is like Metamorphous Alpha redo, but for a planet. Um, <laughs> Jim Ward, Jim Ward. <laughs> See the tie in there, guys? <laughs> uh, it went to the more D D style with the multi with the, all the different mathematical dice. Um, but other games retained that came out of D D. Some went with those dice and some went with stayed with the uh, original original um, six sided dice concept. This is what happens as as things change and develop. Okay. So GURPS uses six-sided dice. Now, if you play D&D, which a lot of people do, that was like their first game. Still, a lot of people, it was your first game for 5e, if you, if you came in 5e or 4e. Um, by the modern version of the game, you have a lot of different options in creating your player characters. And one is, of course, you roll the dice and plug and play the numbers in. Another is, well, here's a list of numbers. Put them where you want. Um, statistically, these are the numbers that most likely come up, that kind of thing. And uh, it's more of a, you're getting more of a predestined number ranges that you get to use. Okay, and you're like, well, what does that have to, does GURPS do that? No, GURPS doesn't, but there is something similar. So GURPS is a point-based system. You're like, well, Granny, what's that mean? And that means when you go to create your character, you have 100 points to use as you see fit. Some of those points you allocate towards your abilities. Okay, it makes, does that not making sense? Then others, and the remainder, you're going to use towards um, a, a, a skills, basically. Things you can, your character knows how to do and how well. And special abilities, like are they psionic? Do they cast magic? All, all, you, you buy all that, but you only got 100 points to spend. It's very much like building an army, like some army games are that way, you know? You're going to build a 1,000-point army, right? Everybody's going to have a 1,000-point army. You get to build it how you want, and then you get together, and you try to defeat each other. It's, it's, it's that concept, because both those concepts were around points and, 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 and rolling randomness. and So that is one of the differences between D&D, &D. but it's that, okay, I'm going to have... I'm going to spend 10 points for strength, um, 12 points for intelligence, because I want my guy to be smarter, you know, and, and so on. And then what you have left, and you buy everything else, okay? And there's a way to get some extra points by taking some flaws or in quirks. But then you got to role play that stuff. It's got to have an effect on your character. So, so maybe you don't want it. All right? So... How does that tie into D and D? It's the plug and play aspect of the pre-generated numbers that you that as an option for creating your character, getting to plug and play, then the amount of points you want it. So, and GURPS GURPS works pretty much, you know, like you would expect a role playing game to do. You're you're supposed to role play, okay? But the difference is. They really did make it 
so that it would work for a multitude of um, different stuff. <clears throat> it doesn't do classes. It does skills. It's a skill-based um, system, an ability-based system. So I'm not going to go into like all the, the fine details of it, but you know, you either know how to use a ranged weapon or you don't. And then you it doesn't mean you, you can't try to use a ranged weapon, you know, it just means y you're going to do it at a heavy penalty. So that should make sense. And then you move up you get more points and then you spend those points to improve your abilities or your skills, your character. You can improve your looks, everything. Um, and there's ways to go about that that are appropriate for the setting you are playing. So you can do Westerns, you can do sci-fi, you can do fantasy, you can mix it all together. You, anything you can think of Specific settings from specific books. GURPS probably has a resource out there for it. They have they have tunes for goodness sakes. You can be you can be Bugs Bunny. Tunes is a hoot, by the way. I have played it. But yeah, see, you know, this was a game that got played heavily when it this is third edition. Um, they have other editions out. Um GURPS. So this edition, based on the copyright, <laughs> um, probably came out in, uh, where did I say it? That was one of the things I looked up, 1989. This one's copyrighted 1986, 87, 88, and 89. So GURPS has, has been around for a while. And, and, and uh, Mr. Steve Jackson would actually answer questions. You could like contact him if you wanted so uh, that was cool um, so that's what GURPS is and GURPS is what I'm probably going to use for the the next space game I do I have other space games but I want to do some traveler and I found traveler for GURPS so that's what we're doing it's probably written for fourth edition but uh I don't care. I'm just going to use it with third edition rules because that's what I got. I got GURP Space and GURPS, GURPS Atomic Whore. You know, brains in a jar. So so I'm going to do something retro on the timeline of Traveler. Um, the old the old timeline. Like it's going to be like before they, they all meet each other kind of thing. Um, maybe it'll be first contact. You know, I, I don't know, but I'm going to do something more retro, more atomic rocket. I just want some atomic rocket action. What can I say? Those, those wild 50 films where they're trying to figure out what space travel would be like. Um, so, yeah. Uh, that's, this is GURPS. I got, I got a bunch of GURPS stuff I have collected over the years because they're the resource books, by the way, are awesome. So even if you don't do GURPS... <laughs> I cannot explain to you how good their books are. Like, you can be like, oh, well, I'm doing a space game. I need some new tech. Yep. If they got a tech book out that fits fits what you need, just get it. And then reskin the stuff in it for the system you're using. Because they'll give you all, all so much background, so much so much detail. It's it's crazy. I got, like, the planet. I got the Mars book for, Mar uh, for Mars. Maybe I'll have everybody go to Mars. Um. Uh, it is absolutely chock full of ideas. And it has the whole range from the dying planet, sword, and, uh, uh, you know, you know, sword and, 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 and steampunkish uh, uh, type time period, the 1800s kind of thinking, uh, to, to hard science and everything in between. It's, it's in that book. And they've got the, they've got the whole planet, all the information on the planet, um, as it is, and then like you can change it based on what you're doing. Like, is there a breathable atmosphere? Is it isn't there? You know, it depends on the setting you're doing, right? So, and they they talk about all that. The whole breadth of what we would call Mars science fiction is the bones are there. 
and and so it's it's cool and and the viking I, I think i got the vikings i may have had the western i i don't know i've got to go through them all and the, it's they're all like that every i've i've never been sad i've been like oh this book is no good you know this 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 thing i got from gerbs is no good it's that's never happened i've been like oh this is so cool i can totally reskin this for star frontiers you know you know you know um i can totally use this in D, &D you know so i'm 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 telling you they always have good ideas so you can't go wrong with gerbs i just i picked up a bunch of books recently on the ebay um and uh, they're all books i didn't have so I'm like, woo, this will be fun, you know. So, GURPS, everybody I know who's had, who's gotten resource books from GURPS, even if they don't play GURPS, they're like, yes, I always get the resources books. <laughs> always get their setting books. They're always useful, you know. So, um, and GURPS, they're, they're still around. You can look them up on the internet. You can get PDFs. You don't have to go on eBay and spend more. Sometimes you can find the books relatively inexpensive. I had I had one ship from Italy, it cost more in the shipping than it did the the book. But uh, I'm glad I got it because once I got it and got it in my hot little hands, it it introduced me to a new author that I hadn't read before. Started reading some of his stuff. It was totally worth the the wait <laughs> and the international shipping <laughs> mail. So so. Um, that's about GURPS. It's point based. That's the main thing. But but it's it's basically on the let me let me let, there's like three main rules. I mean that's for you know you have success rules. <laughs> so the sex success rules are like you're going to like for example you're going to go to strength roll, and you have a twelve strength. You roll a twelve or below. All right, that, that's how that system works, okay? Um, and then, of course, they have modifiers. You know, if it's easier to do, you get pluses to that roll. If it's harder to do, you get negatives to the roll. So it's it's still your uh, difficulty uh, number, but instead of going up, you're going down. So one is a total su uh, a success. So it's a different. So, oh, holy is the one, right? Um, and then they have reaction rolls, and those are optional. Optional for the people who haven't heard that word. It's optional in D and D too, by the way. Um, that's for you know when they're inter when the characters are uh, the players are interacting with the NPCs, and and did they they pull it off? And sometimes you do random rolls. Um, sometimes you don't as the, as the referee. Okay. And, um, damage rolls. You roll for damage. Whatever it says. So, um, that's pretty much how everything, you either successfully do what you're trying to do. And if that means you damage something, then you roll for damage. You, you, you try to... Uh, talk somebody in to giving you the key, the keys to their Porsche. <laughs> you know? um, and the DM decides, oh, what the heck, we'll, we'll make it a roll. <laughs> it's going to be hard, though, <laughs> right? So that is how you do that. And those are like the three main rules. They have charts to help you and all that stuff. <laughs> but... That's the basic deal. And um, like I said, you you can um, improve your abilities in the game. There, there's ways to do that. You can improve everything. And gain new stuff. And so, GURPS. That's why when I, I also picked up time travel because I'm like, GURPS would be perfect for time travel. So, then they did a, they did a book for that. So that's GURPS. So we'll be doing more of it because I'm going to be doing sci-fi. More of the sci-fi stuff with GURPS for a bit. Um, I haven't played GURPS 
since like the probably 89, 90, early 90s, late 80s, early 90s. So um, it'll be fun. <laughs> That's the way I look at it. Um, uh, I know they want to do a sci-fi. I know they want to do Star Trek. So uh, I don't know. Maybe I'll do GURPS or Star Trek version of GURPS. I, I, but I'm going to do something with GURPS. I'm more inclined to do something along the, um, you've got a spaceship and, uh, go forth, <laughs> you know, so that's more traveler, but yep, there's no alignments. You, the players decide how they're going to role play their, those characters and what kind of characters they're going to be in the setting. Okay. So it's 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 pretty stripped down in in that you know that's that's why you can do anything with it, in my opinion. But it it is different. It is different than D and D. So there you go, GURPS. Like, subscribe, comment. Uh, more GURPS will come. Also, more Ardune will come. Totally different styles of play. Yet both could be Gonzo because GURPS you can. <laughs> you can mix all that stuff up, man, <laughs> too. So, Gonzo. Gonzo's fun. So, anyway, bye, everybody. <laughs>